Hi, my name is Tara Tim. I'm the managing broker of Westchester Realty. We are located in Greensboro, North Carolina. I am licensed in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Pennsylvania. I'm also a listing agent for HUD, VA, and USDA. In my role as listing agent, I'm frequently asked about submitting bids on HUD properties, so I decided to create a video to walk you through it. What is a HUD home? HUD homes are foreclosed properties that were originally purchased with FHA loans. For some of you, this is old news, but for those of you who are new to the HUD purchase process, I want to simplify it for you. What is an FHA loan? An FHA loan is a government-backed mortgage loan, which is usually signified by lower down payment and lower credit score requirements. Also, HUD will pay up to 3% in seller paid closing costs if requested at the time of a bid. What is an FHA loan limit? Well, it's just as the title suggests. It is the maximum that can be borrowed on an FHA loan. Now, for those of you who think that HUD homes are in horrible areas, dilapidated properties, really not worth your time, I suggest you think again. HUD has published data on loan limits nationwide, and the numbers just might surprise you. So here we are at the FHA Mortgage Limit website, or HUD.gov's website. Let's take a look at lending limits here in North Carolina. As you can see, for a single family home in North Carolina, in pretty much every county, except what, Durham? The loan limit is 420,000. In Durham Chapel Hill, $506,000. Let's take another area. Let's look at Florida. Single family home, 420. One area, 539. Pretty consistent. And for our final area, let's look at a high price market, which would be, let's say, New York. FHA loan limits, mm, consistent, except for, hey, one area, almost a million dollars. You might be wondering how a property purchased with an FHA loan becomes a HUD home. Well, a property purchased with an FHA loan is insured by HUD, allowing the lender to submit a claim to HUD when a buyer forecloses. HUD pays the claim and the property is now HUD owned. HUD owned properties are marketed on HUDHomestore.com and the local MLS. So what does this mean for you? Well, HUD pays up to 6% commission. Loan qualification is more lenient. HUD's buyer incentives allow for more qualified buyers in your pipeline. Incentives being $100 down payment. If your buyer is using an FHA loan to purchase a HUD home, they're only required to put $100 down payment. HUD will pay up to 3% seller paid closing costs and repairs can be made after closing. None of this means anything if you are not a registered agent. Only HUD registered agents can bid on HUD properties. So my question to you is, is your firm registered with HUD? And if so, what is your firm's NAID number, which is a name and address identification number? HUD uses the NAID number to track commissions paid by HUD to the seller's agent as well as listing agents. Okay, now let's get you registered. As you notice, we're on HUD Home Store. In the top right corner, we're gonna register as a bidder. Once we're on the bidder registration page, you'll notice that there are several bits of information that you need to fill out relevant to you and your contact information. The first choice is NAID. We're gonna select Selling Broker. Role, Selling Agent. You're now gonna use your company's NAID number, your license number, your license date, the state, license expiration, and then add. You'll put in information that you wanna use for your username and passcode. 
security questions, and contact information. Once completed, you'll signify that you are not a robot and submit. Quite simple. Once registered, you're ready to begin bidding on properties. I hope this information was clear, concise, and relevant, giving you one more tool for your toolbox. If you have questions, reach out. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you'll like this video and please subscribe. Have a wonderful day. And until next time, I'm Tara Tillman of Westchester Realty.